Hey guys, I want to share a photo shoot I did with an Australian TV personality by the name of Kathy Sheeran. Now, Kathy asked me to do a series of profile pics for her so she could use those for her social media, Facebook, and for her agents as well for publicity and media and editorial use, etc. Before we actually got started with the shoot, Kathy shared the fact that she was quite nervous about the shoot, even though I've worked with her several times before, and she was even quite like brutally honest about her fear of photo shoots, how nervous she was, and the fact that she has real insecurity around her nose and felt that uh, when she when she is speaking to someone that, that that is the first place that they're looking and she kind of doesn't doesn't really like her nose at all and that's probably why she doesn't like being photographed a lot so it it, it got really personal and she was very candid in in this pre-interview that we did and I think there was a real aha moment for her and you can see it uh, later on in that clip where she discovers the uh, real reason she's uncomfortable in front of the camera and I gave her uh, a few techniques to overcome that. Now in terms of uh, shooting Kathy and when I'm working with anyone that has any sort of prominent feature and I actually think Kathy is a gorgeous woman and uh, I think uh, her face is quite beautiful uh, but, but if someone does have a hang up about a certain body part I tend to not uh, I don't disagree with them uh, because I think that people really just want to be heard and if they have a genuine fear or insecurity about something I think it's important that that is acknowledged and there's also stuff that we can do as photographers to minimize the impact a, a, a certain facial feature will have so in in this instance Kathy felt that her nose looked large in in whenever she's been photographed in the past and so I was aware of that fact when I was shooting and so in order to minimize that I I made sure that I shot Kathy square on and that's going to uh, the optical illusion is it will minimize the size of the nose I avoided shooting her in profile and uh, I think uh, and then the other thing and this is something that I talked to her about is I made sure that that was the last thing that everyone noticed when they looked at her photos and I wanted the first thing that they saw was her beautiful beaming smile and an honest and sincere and authentic smile and that uh, trumps everything I think in a photo and I think that's what makes someone look beautiful particularly if they have a confident uh, look on their face so uh, yes you can check it out for yourself and I'll show you how I retouched and shot these images as well so enjoy so I'm here today with Kathy Sheeran and she's an Australian TV presenter and Australia's go-to for anything shopping. So if you want to learn a little bit about shopping, check out her website, Shopping Confessions. So Kathy, we're going to do a series of shots for you today for your social media, website, promo, press Publicity releases, shots, all of that. Anything. Which I'm dreading. Sorry, Oops. I have to say it. I'm dreading. I'm so, really nervous. I've so, got really sweaty palms. So what is it about the photo shoot? What, what is it that, that you dread the most? To be honest, I think it's... I've, live TV I absolutely love. Um, getting my photo taken, I hate it. What is it? What? I think it, I'm going to be totally honest to you. I think it's a confidence thing. Um, yep. People see me as a quite a confident yeah. person. Yeah, I see you as very confident. I can confident. talk glass artists. Yeah. But I just... 
I think it's my nose. I know that sounds really stupid and vain. All right. So what, what is it? So well, I have broken it a few times uh -huh. growing up, yep. and I just feel that when I smile, that my nose goes right across my face. It's just something that for me just stands out. I could have the best dress on, designer shoes, but to me, my eyes go straight to the nose, and I think that's. I feel that that's what everybody else says. Although they say they don't. Yeah. And I've chosen to have my photos taken with you again because you actually make me feel really comfortable. Right. Because you've done them before. Yeah. And they were great photos, but it doesn't make it that Any... much easier. No, it, I'm, I'm actually freaking out right now. So do you know <laughs> when... Ridiculous. Do you know when someone um, looks at a person... We're not, we don't, you don't pick out one thing. We see the whole. It's a combination of everything. It's, it's what you're saying. It's what you're doing. It's everything. And, and we're sort of more tapped into the energy than that little thing that you're focused on. And, and have you heard the saying, what you focus on expands? Yeah, that's so, why my nose goes so, like that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's not that your nose physically expands. It's that when you look in the mirror... That's all you see. I know. You, you're not seeing what we're seeing when we look at you. Which I think that's what you bring out when it's, you take my photos. Like everyone loves the photos that you take that you've taken of me before, but it's just really hard for me to get past the the snoz. So when you look at anyone else in the room, like anyone, even um, even even the beautiful dog Cody, the it's, it's like you know, faux the makeup artist, me, like, I, I is see it one thing? But so, I like, it, no, no. But do you go, oh my god, look at you know? Because I could tell you all my hang-ups, and I'm not going to because. <laughs> look, <and it's> <laughs> everybody has them. Everybody has I a understand. thing that they I'm, don't like about themselves. I know. Look, and I know that I've got a booty and I've got big thighs, and I've embraced that, and I love that. But it's just, I can't get past the nose. So, the most beautiful women that I've photographed are the ones that just own it. Okay. It's like they walk into the room and they have that confidence because that's what's attractive. Yeah. And a beautiful photo, it doesn't matter physically what the person looks like. If you've got that energy and the smile is real that, and, you know, it's in the eyes, that, that is what people are attracted to engaging. in the photo it's engaging yeah, and okay. and you know so I'll try. and I've had so I swear I tell you this is true I've had supermodels that I've photographed who I look at them and I'm like oh my god they're p perfection and they're like can you make my arms look thinner because th that's their thing yeah. or they're worried about like they've got one eye slightly bigger than the other or or you know uh, a millimeter just extra more of my faults that's good <laughs> <laughs> So just know that you're not the only one that no, has I, these thoughts. I know, I know. And it's like we're not seeing it for sure. And, you know, the other thing is if everybody looked exactly the same... It'd be a pretty boring place. Well, you've got this bland sort of look, yeah. you know. I totally agree and I do. And it's just something that I've got to get over and get on with. So when you're looking into the camera now... Don't like think about I, my nose. if you think if you're looking into the camera and you're thinking I don't like my nose I don't like my nose I don't like my nose that is a, right across your eyes that's yeah. all you see okay, and that, that fear so you have to be thinking mm. something like take your mind into a better place so and I like think it's also to all eyes on me which I don't and I know it sounds really strange coming from yeah. someone who does live TV which yeah. I love yeah. but that whole eyes on me smile let's take a photo I, I don't know whether it's because I put it into the I'm thinking okay well I'm not a model I'm not a client yeah. but it's something that I need for my job yeah These, I, see, yeah, I think it's a mix so, of so why is it that when the camera is rolling you can feel confident, what's the difference between that and a still? I think because when it's live, like even like now chatting, you've got no problem with yeah. that at all. And I'm so you're engaged, happy. your eyes look, they're, they're not cold, That's you're not nervous. No, I'm not, not, not looking at your nose. No. I'm not seeing anything. No, I'm not even, you're not, I'm even, not even thinking, thinking about, about it. My, no, I'm not all even right. thinking about my nose. But when it's still... I, don't, I think because my maybe the expectation of what I want from the photo, yes. yeah. that, that yeah. I think plays a big part. Because so, I'm not thinking about what I look like on TV when, yep. I do, when I'm doing TV. Because it, you're in the moment. That's right. And that's the difference. Now, the, 
All the suffering that we give ourselves is because we're projecting into the future. Okay? You are thinking about what's going to happen when I take this shot. This is what I'm going to look like. This is what's going to be yeah, seen. You know what? And that's what that means. You've actually nailed it. Absolutely. Exactly. 100% nailed it. You're, because that's you're exactly projecting into going, the future. That's exactly what's going through my head when you're, before you take the photo. Exactly. When you're on TV and you're, you're having to present, you can't afford to be moving was the minute you start thinking into the future you're going to forget oh, about I, I everything and miss and miss the conversation um, you're not listening to the other person yep. you're not in the moment so the trick for you is to stay here with me in the moment you're not allowed to think another second further so we'll get through this second then we'll get through the next second yeah, okay. and then we'll get through the next second okay. and there won't be any suffering well, I'm all up for not having any suffering. Yeah. All right. Shall we give it a go? Let's give it Let's a go. Let's give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sweaty palms be gone. <laughs> okay. Shooting myself. No kidding. <laughs> Barrel. That's good. And just looking over to the window. Over to foe again. That's great. And back to camera. That's great. Keep your eyes open. That's beautiful. That's looking good. And back to me. All right. I think we're going to get uh, we'll get some uh, wind in the hair now. Uh, wind wind technician is basically a leaf blower. So that's all it is. Moses, my wind technician. Check it out. It just gives a nice... So believe it or not, the humble leaf blower actually makes a really good wind machine for photo shoots. So what I wanted to do here with Kathy's hair is create some, some movement. I just found that uh, when the hair was hanging down limp, it was uh, actually looking quite flat. So the first thing I tried was a hairdryer, which is a traditional way to get a wind, bit of uh, wind action and movement in the hair. But the thing that the problem with that is the hairdryer blows the hair around too much and you get these wispy little bits of uh, hair all over the place. So I don't really like that. The other technique that I love using is either getting a stiff piece of cardboard or uh, a reflective board and just sort of wafting the hair and you get like nice separation and that's a good look the problem with that is you need the assistant standing quite close that's why I love uh, sort of the the smaller battery operated leaf blowers and you have the the small tip on the end and you can aim it just at the bottom end of the hair and you get sort of nice movement in small chunks and you can really control it and uh, it, it works so well. I absolutely love it. For Kathy's second look, I moved to the other side of the studio. We were shooting in a small uh, hair salon on the day very very small as small as a small office and so I was fairly limited in space but there was a lovely textured wall that I had her sit up against and had her uh, feet propped up so that they were, her knees were sitting up quite high and then I asked her to lean forward we set up the leaf blower again just to get a lot of movement into the hair and had the beauty dish up above her and worked from there. Fantastic, eh? that's beautiful. That is so nice. That's it. And face squared, yeah, great. Beautiful, Kathy. That look, that's hot. That's really nice. I love, I'm loving the wind, the wind blower it just makes it. High tech, high tech. Available get it, get it. from Bunnings. Bo, do it again. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. That's really nice. Really nice. Staring at the barrel. 
and just hands up for me. That's it, that's great, that's great. And square, face square to camera, that's lovely, beautiful. So you can see that uh, Kathy's sitting on a stool, leaning forward, feet up uh, are actually, feet up are on the reflector that's bouncing the light from the beauty dish back up into her face so that actually opens up any shadows and that's giving her the clean lighting and here you can see what the actual image looks like without any flash. So. Now let's check out uh, how I edited the shot in Photoshop. All right, so I just wanna show you a quick real-time retouch on this image. So I've got the image opened up in Photoshop of Kathy, and the first thing I'm going to do is go into my actions and I've got my skin retouch pack I'm going to go down to the awesome skin frequency separation and uh, click on that and just hit play and open up that folder and go down to skin tone the first thing I want to do is select my lasso tool come in close on the forehead and I'm just going to make a selection of the forehead and do a little lasso selection like that. Uh, make sure that my feather is uh, set to about 50. Go into filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And so whatever I did previously, the amount of blur, that's too high. And what happens is the forehead's looking uh, too overdone. So I'm going to probably and I'm using the up down arrows to select that area. So basically I want it to look even, but I don't want it to start looking too alien skin. So I think around 19 looks good there. Deselect that, do under the chin, under the eyes. Again, filter blur, Gaussian blur, and that's looking good, so that works. And a little shortcut, if you don't want to go through the filter blur, Gaussian blur, is instead of doing that, just Command F will apply the same amount of blur, and then do the nose. Okay, and you can see that it's, it's flattening out and evening out the skin tone. So we'll go under the chin, and also just above the top lip. And again, I'll do the neck. All right, and the shoulder. And the chest area. And while I'm here, I might as well do the hands. There we go. And the other hand. All right, so once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna go to the details and texture and hit my spot healing brush, make sure that sample all layers is uh, unchecked. And I'm just going to go and get rid of any little blemishes. All right, just very quickly, she's got pretty good skin. Any little pock marks that I wanna get rid of. That little blemish there. That little line. Some of the extra pores on the nose. And 
that's looking pretty good. Now if I want to, I can uh, address these lines under the eyes just by using the clone stamp. Uh, the blend mode is lighten and I can just knock the lines under the eyes back a little bit just by cloning over those. So let's have a look at before, after. So we've just lightened that up, evened it out, and you can go back and go over those areas and maybe these. But it's important not to get rid of these lines entirely because then the, the, the face loses its its character. So once I'm happy with that, the next stage is I'm going to add a dodge burn layer because the whole face has been flattened. So I just want to bring back some of the, the, the contrast. So I'll get make sure I've got uh, black and white selected. Go onto my brush. Nice big brush and just go around uh, just set my opacity fairly low, so about 20, a flow is 20, and then go around the hairline with black, around the chin, make my brush a little bit smaller, over the eyes, Come into the lips, darken those off, around the edge of the nose, alright so let's have a look, so before, after, so it's just bringing back some of that extra contrast and I can build that up. more under the chin and so now I'm just sort of going over the the shadows that I can see so, and going over those just bringing back some of the contrast you can bring it back into the hair as well all right Go. So let's just check before and after. All right, that's looking good. Uh, come in and I'll do the uh, the white side. So just hit X to shortcut to get onto the white brush, and just go in and uh, just give the highlights a little tweak. We'll go over the nose, bring that that line back in the highlight on the nose, and then going over the highlights on the cheek, on the chin, and then give the arm a bit more shine in here and I'm just following the line All right, so you see before and after we've just brought some of the contrast back. We can soften that now, filter blur, Gaussian blur, just so it's you, you can't see the edges. Okay, and so that's where we started. That's where we are now. And maybe just knock that back overall so that's where we started and just coming back maybe about there so before 
after. Still looking very natural. You can still see the pores. And that's it guys. So pretty simple one light setup using a beauty dish directly in front uh, with a reflector underneath for light. One light source using daylight as fill. Very small cramped space. Not a lot of props. Uh, and probably the hero of the day was the humble battery-operated leaf blower.